Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the morning market stir for Monday, July 27th. Markets slid again on Friday for four consecutive days after getting very close to the all-time highs in the S&P. Actually, the S&P futures for September touched the highs on that Monday, but the rest of the week was down, down, and more down. S&P lost 21 points on Friday, 2077.5, a 2% drop for the week. The Dow dropped 153 on Friday, 17,523. Uh, the loss leader there actually negative for 2015, off 3% on a weekly basis. The Nasdaq has turned lower after the big surge, obviously, 4562 down 58 on Friday, a 2% reversal, giving back some of the gains, but not all of them, just half of the gains from the week prior. The dollar was up 12 on Friday at 97.35. Euro currency right around the 110 level, down 17 actually at 109.89. The gain for the week was 110 points. So getting a little bit of firmness there in the dollar getting a little bit of weakness. The bond market up another four ticks. We're seeing bonds continue to move up and yields move down, 154.19. Crude oil closing below $50. Some new multi-week lows, 48.15 was a close on Friday, down 30 cents. The low was 47.70 on the session, and the loss for the week was $2.75. Speaking of losses, gold dropped $46 on a weekly basis. On Friday, it did touch the lows once again, but bounced back. Uh, 10.86 was the finish, down 8. The low was 10.72 on the day there. So, after the negativity to end the trading week last week, but still some strength early on, uh, where do things stand here on this Monday morning? Well, we're off once again. We've got the futures lower in the stock indexes, down 12 in the S&P at 2065.2065. 2065. Dow futures down another 115 at 17,408. And we've got the NASDAQ at 4528, down 34. Now, we've got 150 of the S&P 500 stocks reporting earnings this week. So it's a big, big week as far as the fundamentals go. Looking at the dollar, down 62, seeing a bit of a slide there, 96.72, pushing the euro currency back above the 110 level. 110.74 up 88 on the session. Looking at the other markets, the uh, the bond markets at 155.15 really pushing higher, uh, up another 28 ticks right now, knocking those yields down some more. You got to remember we were just below 150, significantly below 150, not so long ago. But you're seeing a little bit of a flight back into the bond market over the last five sessions. Uh, crude oil right now is down 60 cents at 47.60, below Friday's low and gold's up eight at 10.93. So to wrap up this current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we've got some weakness in the stock index futures, down 12 in the S&P, down 115 in the Dow futures, and down 34 in the NASDAQ 100 NDX futures. I will see you early Tuesday morning for your morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.